Hi, it's Mr. Roix, uh, and I have a podcast here. I was having some technical difficulty earlier, but I think I have it all straightened out. I apologize for the delay. Uh, so we're going to take you through the problems 3 through 7 on the worksheet that I posted earlier. I also posted the answers. Again, what I would encourage you to do is, uh, as we go through these, pause the video, try the problems if you haven't already done so, uh, and just kind of use the video a a as that sort of... Um, excuse me, use a video to kind of guide you through these problems, but try to do as much as you can on your own. So the first one is what is a formula for a hydrate that is 90.7 grams of the SRC2O4, and I apologize, the, the 2 and the 4 should be subscripted. I'm not able to do that with my program right now. And 9.30 grams of H2O. Remember, the goal with any time we're trying to come up with a formula, it has to be a mole ratio. So we're going to look at uh, the answer done out here. Okay, so we take our 90 gram, 90.7 grams. Uh, we find the molar mass of the SRC2O4, which should be 175.64. We then uh, solve for that number of moles, which is... 0.516. Then we do the same thing for the water. If we have 9.30 grams of water right there, uh, we divide it by the molar mass of water, 18 grams, and we get 0.517. Now what we want to do is we want to set this to be a mole ratio, so we do that by dividing by the lowest number of moles, setting one of these moles equal to 1. Usually it's the salt, uh, the that in a hydrate that will be set to one and uh, in this case obviously it's a one to one ratio so it would be SRC2O4 uh, with a little dot there and since there's only one water we don't put a one but it's just H2O and this is called strontium oxalate monohydrate so that's the first problem what is the formula for a hydrate that is 86.7 percent MO2S5 and 13.3 percent H2O and on this problem again when you're given percents what you want to do is convert to grams so let's look at the answer for problem number two uh, so I apologize the can't get the answer key to show up where I want to show have it show up but anyway what we do here is again we convert the percents to grams we then divide by the molar mass. The molar mass of the MO2 S5 is th 352 grams per mole. Uh, we then get the number of moles of the MO2 SR5. Then what we do is we find the number of moles of water, so 13.3 grams divided by the molar mass, which is 18 grams, and Excuse me. Then we end up here with a 0 0.739 moles of H2O, and then we divide by the lowest number of moles. And when we divide by the lowest number of moles, you can see that obviously we set one is going to end up being one. The the first we divide it by itself, and the second uh, when we divide the water by that number of moles, we end up with three moles of water. Again, the way to make sure that this works is labels should cancel. So we have grams canceling grams and we're getting to moles. Again, grams of water canceling grams of water and getting to moles of water. Okay, and so our answer comes out to be MO2S5 um, in a little asterisk 3H2O and we would call this molybidium and I believe I did a typo there. I shouldn't. I don't believe there should be an O there. Molybidium sulfide trihydrate. So that is problem number four. Let's look at problem number five. So here is problem number five. Once again, sorry, I apologize, but uh, having problems with uh, having the answer show up where I want to have it show up. But let's uh, go through this problem now. So you know from the information, and this was again very much like the lab. Here is the mass of the hydrate. Okay, here is the mass of the anhydrous salt. So we've basically heated it up and we've removed all the water. And the difference between these two numbers is going to be the grams of water. Once we know the grams of, of the anhydrous salt and we know the grams of the water, 
We then set those into moles by dividing by the molar masses. There's a molar mass of the CO, Cl2, and we get this number of moles. Do the same thing for water, divided by the molar mass of water, which is 18 down here, and we get 0 0.041 moles of water. Again, setting 1 equal to 0, we divide by 0 0.0068 and when we divide the moles of water by 0 0.0068 we get 6 and so the formula is COCl2 hyphen or star 6 H2O and we would call this cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate let's look at problem number 6 Here is problem number six. Again, the setup again. Uh, the setup is just like we did for the previous problem, and again, just like we did for the lab. So what we know is we know that this is the mass of the original salt. Here is the mass of what was left over in the crucible after we heated it. Obviously, the difference is how much water we drove off, and then again just like we did for the, all of the previous problems once we have grams we solve for moles we divide by the molar masses this one does not work out as well as I would have hoped uh, we get 6.13 uh, um, excuse me a ratio of 1 to 6.13 uh, but we're gonna say in this case that it's 6 so it's NISO4 asterisk 6 H2O and we call this nickel 2 sulfate hexahydrate. Let's look at the last problem. Last problem here, excuse me, is determining the percent water in K2S asterisk 5 H2O. Okay, and what we want to do for this particular problem is we want to come up with the molar mass or the mass, yeah, the molar mass of K2S. We want to come up with the mass of five waters. Five times 18 gets us 90. Then we add these together to get the mass of the total formula, what one K2S 5H2O would be. And then to get the percent water, we divide the mass of the water by the total mass, which is 202 grams. So 90 grams divided by 202 grams, and it's 45% water. And what we call this is potassium sulfide pentahydrate. All right, so that's uh, that's it for this vodcast. Uh, hopefully, as you go through this, hopefully you get this. Uh, again, I apologize for getting this out so late. Um, just like I said, technical difficulties on my end. But anyway. Uh, we'll see you in class. If you have questions, certainly make sure you come see me uh, so that you know how to do these. Have a good night.